Okay, my name is Ofer, and together with my colleagues Dani and Idan, we are Reset, the Innovative Development Unit here at CET. In our day-to-day -day work, Reset explores new technologies and the way they integrate with the world of education. Today, I would like to show you something that we are working on, ADVR, Collaborative Learning Virtual Reality Space. ADVR is, uh, is designed as a platform for collaborative learning. We all know that collaborative learning is a great educational method. Uh, it has a vast potential to maximize students' uh, skills. But, however, we also know that uh, collaborative learning comes with great difficulties. So we thought, could the massive potential of virtual reality come to the aid of collaborative learning. I ask for two volunteers to come and join me here on stage for a short demo. I need one woman and one, okay, one here, and you here. <laughs> yeah. It, Charles, you are, the, you are the purple? Yeah, you're not shaking my hand, my virtual hand? Yeah. I, uh, I can feel you, I can feel you, wow. Okay. It's just, uh, you have just a massive, okay. okay so. And, and Jackie, the, you, are, you are the yellow gold one, yeah. okay. Can you, move the, can you move the mouse now? Okay, so the hand doesn't move, okay. Okay, so I all, uh, Charles, I'm sitting uh, uh, across from you, and, uh, and Jackie, I'm, I'm sitting uh, in your left. Mm -hmm. uh, you can, text please, okay. You can adjust your focus using the dial on top of your headset between your eyebrows, if you don't see well. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is a lesson, yeah? <laughs> so, okay. As you can see, Jackie, Charles, and I are all sitting together in a virtual space. In real life, we could be sitting miles apart using audio headsets and microphones. So, I'm Offer. I will be your tutor for this lesson about energy transformations. First, let's watch this video clip. Please look at the TV. Notice that I can see where my students are looking at and where their attention is. It seems I got their full attention. In. Of course, we can use any photos, text, presentation, and movies. Okay. Now, okay. Jackie, I will turn the table to you so you can read the question on the table. Try and reach for a pen and mark your answer. You can reach your pen. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. So now select. You can just just circle it or or do this. So the question is is about the type of energies that that are involved in this uh, skater scene. Okay. Okay. It's okay. Let's move on. Okay. Okay, the skater on the top of the ramp is Tommy. He's waiting for us to tell us to tell him to start. Tommy, go. Okay, I can rotate the table while he's skating. Using simulations allow us to better grasp concepts. This 3D simulation is a chart that depicts the behavior of the potential and kinetic energy while Tommy is skating. I want you to watch the blue gauge, which represents the potential energy of the skater. Let's stop the skater on the highest point. Tommy, stop. Okay, you can see the potential energy is at its maximum, while the kinetic energy is low. Let's move on. Okay, we can also do stuff together. I'm drawing a circle here. And I want us all to, do, to build together a tower using the cubes. 
get your ends close to any cube till it becomes blue and pick it up and you can move it up and down using the mouse wheel. Okay. Oh. So too close to my face, sir. Okay. 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 You have to use the mouse wheel to, to take it up and down. Okay. If I grab the ball, which has elastic properties, you can see the energy transformations in the gauge on the table. I'll drop it and that seems a little fast. Let's do it in slow-mo now. Now we can see clearly the continuous transformation between kinetic on these gauge, gauges, between the kinetic and potential energies. We can also import the off-the-shelf uh, 3D models to this environment. For example, I can take the, from this shelf here by me, the Jiffy, the giraffe, and put it on the table and even take any the Aina we should obviously be careful that the Aina uh, won't eat the giraffe and even take money the motor <laughs> which lives together uh, in the savannah with this uh, giraffe and the Aina uh, okay, let's move to something different. Okay. Text, please. Okay. This is a model of your solar system. Uh, Charles, can you tell me where Saturn is? Where Saturn is, Charles? Oh, it's over there. Where is over there? Uh, Describe it. <laughs> West, okay, maybe behind me, almost? Almost. Almost, okay. Yeah. Of course, as this is VR, we don't, we don't have to be in a room, we could be anywhere. As we are learning about the solar system, why not go to the space? I remind you that even if we sat in a remote locations, we'd still be having this experience together. So that must be the earth, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is your home. Yeah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the teacher can have additional tools, for example, a virtual prompter to get him through tough presentations. Okay. Thank you, Jackie and Charles.